It is particularly important for our community to continue to inspire the female athlete. It has been proven consistently that girls who are associated with sports have better grades, higher self-esteem, and lead healthier lives. I would like to introduce a woman who has played an active part in positively influencing Westover girls in sports. Adele Irvin and Over played a to on a total of 10 teams as a student, including field hockey, volleyball, basketball, and ice hockey. She is just one of the many inspiring women among us today. Adele? I've had the privilege of being a part of the Westover community since 1939 when we played volleyball out on a very cold wooden court out there. I've, played, I've been witness to how athletics at Westover has played a significant part in so many students' lives. The video you are about to enjoy demonstrates how Westover has been inspiring athletes for the past 100 years. I'd like to begin recognizing our inductees. Um, the first woman, Edith Cummings Munson, was truly a remarkable woman. A graduate of the class of 17, she made her mark as one of the finest women golfers of the 1920s. It is my pleasure to officially induct Edith Cummings Munson into Westover School's Athletic Hall of Fame. Well, it's an honor to talk about Debbie on the occasion of her induction into the Westover Athletic Association Hall of Fame. It also gave me the opportunity to call her and catch up. As many of you know, Debbie was given the Westover Award in 2002 for her accomplishments and leadership in the field of athletics. She was at Westover during a time when at last an exciting growth in women's athletics was taking place. Debbie has served sports admirably. She started her own business, Opus One, a sports marketing firm representing LPGA players. The list of committees include President and Vice President of the LPGA Executive Committee, the USGA Implements and Ball Committee, the National Advisory Board of Women's Sports Foundation, the National Advisory Board of the Executive Women's Golf Association, and the LPGA Hall of Fame Committee. She has received an award for her humanitarian contributions to the American Heart Association, the Red Cross, and the Byrne Foundation. She works in marketing and public relations at Black Lake Golf Club in Onaway, Michigan, teaching golf schools in the summer and is back in competition. Here's to you, Debbie. Darcy Ramsey came to Westover as a sophomore and it was the year that we started the sports camps at Westover to prepare the fall sports, uh, fall sports players for the season. I'm really, happy, I'm really happy to see that Darcy is getting this award and is going to be inducted in the Hall of Fame. Unfortunately, she is not able to be here today because what is Darcy doing? She is competing this weekend. So her daughter also could not come. So, it's, I, as I understand it, I'm supposed to accept it for Darcy, and I hope to see her, I hope to be able to take a trip and see her one of these days when she is competing. Thank you. I'm honored this afternoon to speak on behalf of Tomo, class of 96. When Tomo realized that business commi commitments would keep her from joining us this weekend, 
she emailed Tiz that her heart would be here at Westover on this day. She mentioned that Westover had been difficult for her both emotionally and academically, but she added, its heartwarming atmosphere encouraged me to be a better person. Tomo, who had trained for years in Japan and had been captain of the Japanese Junior Olympic Gold Cup volleyball team, was and remains the best all-around volleyball player I have seen in our New England Independent School League. Her dedication and skill inspired the Tomo Nakanishi Award, which is given at Westover's Orchard Ceremony. The citation for the award notes that Tomo became an immediate exemplar both as a teacher of skills and as a teacher of attitudes. I was certainly fortunate to coach her, and Westover was fortunate to have her as a student athlete. I do credit a lot of my success to being um, to athletics. Uh, it has given me a great foundation for life, as well as the things I've learned in my education at Westover and Vanderbilt. So I thank you all. Um, congratulations to everybody that had um, an award this afternoon, and thank you again. The 31 years at Bestover were a great, great pleasure to work. Whatever I did, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed working with the students, and whether it was DC or something else, I still enjoyed it. Thank you. <laughs>